Ms. McClain. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Thank you, Ranking Member Rogers. And, and thank you both for, for being here. Um, I want to speak on the issue of China and the steps that the Army is taking to prepare for any eventualities. Mad Madam Secretary, your budget request to this committee has requested several cuts in different departments. You request a cut in total forces from fiscal year 21's current projected levels, and even a cut in the procurement of um, munitions. As China continues to spend billions on building up its military, why are we requesting a cut in force strength and munition, munition procurements? It seems like they're going this way on spending and we're going this way. And every hearing that I'm in, China's our number one threat, China's our number one threat, yet we continue to spend less and less money and they continue to spend more and more. It's very concerning. Congresswoman, thank you. Um, first of all, you know, I, I am very concerned about China's comprehensive modernization and the breadth of its modernization over the last 20 years. They've, they've definitely um, taken advantage of the time that we've been in Iraq and Afghanistan to, to, to build their military up quite a bit. I think what I would say is, you know, what's, what's most important in my view in terms of our ability to stay ahead of China, and I think it's very important to underscore, as the chairman said, I think, uh, last week, you know, we, we outmatch China today. Our, there's no question that our force and that our army is superior to the People's Liberation Army, even with the modernization that they've undertaken. But it's our next generation capabilities that are most important and are, that are, will make the difference in us staying ahead of China. And that's why in this budget we have worked so hard to prioritize the 31 plus 4 programs to make sure that they are sufficiently funded. That has meant that we have made some reductions to some of our older uh, munitions, for example, and we have reduced some of the funding for some of our enduring programs, but we are protecting investments in the new capabilities. But the budget requests... Um also roughly $4 billion in cuts for the research and development acquisition and procurement budgets. So isn't that a future budget that we're also cutting? What we've tried to do there, again, is 74% of our rdt and &E is focused on our next generation programs. We, we have, again, to make sure we could protect the most important crown jewel modernization programs, we did reduce rdt and &E in some other areas. But research and development is for the future, correct? Yes, but yes, but we have the most important future programs we have fully protected. Okay, my, I'm going to switch gears. For my final question, I'd like to ask you both, Madam Secretary and General, um, to comment on what is next for the Abrams tank. As China continues to build up its forces, the U.S. Army's continued procurement of the modern Abrams tank is essential to our readiness, as well as the U.S. industrial base. Can you both please give me a sense of what is next for the generation of Abrams tank, what, what it's going to look like, or what um, requirements and technologies do you have in mind for that specific tank? Certainly, Congresswoman, and I'll let the chief also add. I would say, you know, we are, first of all, we are continuing to buy the Abrams tank. That is a system we will continue to need, uh, and we are making sure that we have funding for it in our budget. We are also, however, looking at a new armored multipurpose vehicle. That is one of our six modernization focus areas. Uh, so we will be, again, sort of keeping our, our existing capability to make sure that we have a bridge until we get to um, the future armored capabilities. And I'll let General McConville add. Is no. there funding in your request for the new generation of Abrams? Be yeah, can I? Please. Yeah, I mean, first of all, when it, com when it comes to the Abrams right now, I see that as people talk about legacy and modernization. I, I, I have another care. I call it enduring. The, 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 the Abrams main battle tank is not going anywhere. We are continuing to incrementally improve that. We got the M1A2 SEF version 3. We're fielding that right now. There's a modernization program, and, and you'll see uh, based on the resources available, uh, we went to three quarters. We were fielding a brigade a year. We're going to three quarters of a brigade a year, and 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 you know that is in my uh, unfunded requirement that lays it out. And we we have to some of the programs that we call enduring. That that's like the Apache helicopter. That's the Black Hawk. That's the Abrams. You'll see that 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 fielding slowing down because we're trying to give you the best army we can within the resources that we have. 
Thank you, sir. Gentleman's time has expired. Ms.